I've been involved with astronomy for a long time. When I was 14 years old, sort of interested in medicine a little bit, and then I went to a star party, saw Saturn in a telescope, and boom, that was it. I knew I had to be in this field. I spent about a year just observing the sky with binoculars, and I sort of fell into an astronomy club. I got my first telescope that was a classic Celestron 8, and that opened up from sort of understanding a little bit about the sky with a pair of binoculars to really being able to see a lot of details in objects. Space was always something that uh, I was into because growing up in the 60s, seeing all the, the moon shots, of course, you know, that inspired countless kids, uh, myself included. My first telescope was a CPC 800. I found out people were attaching cameras to them, which I hadn't heard of, and uh, I said, well, I've got a camera, I'll attach it to it. And uh, I took a picture of M42, and then that was it. I just went, boing, you know, and then I was like, okay, I gotta do this. So that's when I got really into it. I spent a lot of time with it, so even though I haven't done it for very long, I would do it every month, I'd be out imaging. I come from film background, you look at your pictures and you go, well, you know what, I could actually make this better if I took my time and composed it differently or, or you know, processed it differently. And so then it, that led to me trying to do more artistic, you know, photographs rather than just a document or a snapshot. I've been traveling throughout the country working on various uh, bird research projects. Migration surveys, breeding bird surveys, territory mapping. The Celestron Regal spotting scope is by far my favorite piece of gear to use. You can kind of get closer looks at birds, study the detail. It's really versatile because you can use it for passerines, uh, songbirds, and uh, you can use it for shorebirds, gulls, even raptors. I like recording bird behavior and, and whenever you can zoom in and get a bird full frame with a spotting scope, it's, it's awesome. And one of my favorite things to do with that is digiscoping. I carry my iPhone with me and I do a lot of my photography with that. And with the Celestron scope, it's clear picture. I, I try to spread the word about the Celestron as much as I can. And I think using the optics in the field is the best way to do that. I've always used Celestron telescopes. When I started to do Tahoe Star Tours and needed telescopes, uh, I went to uh, Celestron and Celestron has been a sponsor actually of Tahoe Star Tours. Um, we get the privilege, really, of bringing these really cool products out to the public. Last year, you know, getting the Sky Prodigy 6 was just amazing. I mean, that is leading edge technology. And it totally blows people away. Two years ago, we had a group of Koreans from Seoul. It was very light polluted there, and none of these guests had ever looked through the eyepiece of a telescope before. There was a young Korean gentleman that saw the moon for the first time through a Celestron telescope. He started crying. No kidding, it was the most incredible emotional response. We take those telescopes out to people that almost always have never looked through a telescope or don't own one. And so when they go away, you know, what I'm hoping is they'll think about getting a scope and honestly hoping that they get a Celestron telescope because the Celestron in my mind is the best. I specialize in uh, taking crime scene all the way to the courtroom with an emphasis in bloodstain pattern analysis which is my passion. I actually call one of the microscopes my baby because it has absolutely changed the way that I view stains on fabrics. Looking at it with the naked eye, basic lay of the blood on the item looks the same. You can't go deep down inside the fibers. That is exactly what the microscope has allowed me to do. In a gory kind of way, it's like, a painter's canvas. I walk in there and there's this story that's being told that I know nothing, I know the bare minimum about, and all of a sudden as I move through the scene and as I look around, the story starts to unfold. One of the worst things for a suspect is for somebody with an expertise in blood scene analysis to go in and say the stains on their clothing are from impact. That is earth-shattering evidence in my opinion. So the last thing I want to do is rely on my naked eye to go to court and testify as an expert on that. So that is why the microscope has become so crucial. Astronomers Out Borders was started based on the fact that we're all looking at the same sky. We're active really in most of the countries of the world. The programs we do are open and accessible to anybody. 
During the International Year of Astronomy 2009, Celestron stepped in and became the major sponsor of 100 Hours of Astronomy, which was really for the observers of the world, the amateur astronomers of the world. This is the biggest public outreach event ever. So we had as many as a million people looking through telescopes in one night during the Global Star Party and, and millions other watching online videos and so on. People discover these kinds of hobbies uh, at different times and for different reasons. Having a great bright comet like we're going to have this year is going to be a big help. Once people look through a telescope, understand that they're part of this spectacularly large universe that's out there. They're really made of star stuff that was generated in massive stars. This was a thing that blew my mind when I had my first view of Saturn, that you could simply walk out away from a house, look through a telescope, and see a completely different world that gives you a great, great perspective on who you are on Earth. So I think it's a very bright future for amateur astronomy because we'll be sharing that with more and more people in the future. I'm Mike Simmons, founder and president of Astronomers Without Borders, and I Celestron anywhere I am on Earth. I'm Dave Eicher, and I Celestron in Wisconsin and all over the world. My name is Anna Cox, and I'm a bloodstain pattern expert, and I Celestron in my lab when I look at bloodstain evidence regarding crime scenes. I'm Tony Berenson, and I Celestron at Tahoe Star Tours. I'm Tim Schreckengost, and I Celestron on birding trips from California to Pennsylvania. I'm John Davis, and I Celestron at Bucks Nord Observatory. Where do you Celestron?